If I now click on the bank register, it'll show me up here the transactions that are in my check account. It shows me, for example, that there was a withdrawal of $50 and that there was a deposit of $1,000. It'll track on a day-to-day -day basis all the transactions that will go through. And I can widen the date for a start and finish as required. Down the bottom, it has an area which has got some shortcuts for me. Rather than go to the spend money screen or the receive money screen, I can actually, by using that drop down area, have a spend money or a receive money. And I can even enter sales, pay bills, enter purchases and receive payments. The check number that is used is merely a docket number. I don't know if you still use checks, in which case you probably want to be very careful about making sure that the check number entered in there corresponds to the check it number that you're using. I haven't actually written a check on my check account for probably about 10 years or more. Everything is done electronically or by bank transfer. I find it easier. The date, again, I can change that to anything I want to. And again, the cards, the amounts, the accounts, etc., as required. We'll spend some more time as we go through looking at using these in some detail. If I cancel out of there, it will take me back to the command center. The bank register, receive money and spend money transactions will work for all our accounts. If I open up the bank register and I look at the check account at the top there and click on that drop down menu, I can see in there that I've got a check account, I've got a payroll check account, if I want to keep my payroll separate to my normal bank account, I have a cash drawer where I might keep those payments that have been made to me for sales that happen on the spot before I take them down to the bank. There might be checks in the mail that I want to put in there before I go to the bank once a month or once a week or every couple of days, depends what it is, and petty cash. I've also got, if we look further down there, the bank card, a diner's club, a MasterCard and a Visa. I don't know if American Express upset NYOB at one stage, but they don't get a mention. I can use this system on all my cash accounts. I might have two check accounts, three check accounts. I have known people that with that number of check accounts, sometimes set aside for various purposes. They all work the same no matter what they do. The one thing though that I would be aware of is although I've opened it up for the check account and I've got in there a $50 withdrawal to self, which was for the petty cash. If I look on the petty cash tab, click to petty cash and use that account, I've got in there a deposit of $50. It's the same transaction. As a word of caution, if you take money out of one account as a spend money and you put it into the other account, you do not have to enter two transactions. Taking out the money and putting it into the other is one transaction. You can do it either as a spend money from one or a receive money in the other, but do not do it as a spend money in one and a receive money in the other, or you'll end up with the same transaction in there twice. And going back to get rid of it can be a real pain. In actual fact, while we're here, how do I delete a transaction? Very simply, you'll notice that at the beginning of each transaction, you'll see normally an arrow, and it's a white arrow. If I click on the white arrow, it will bring up the details behind that transaction. I can look in more detail, I get more information maybe. If I click on the edit button above, click edit. I have an option in there where I can cut, copy, paste or clear. And I also have the opportunity to delete a transaction. If I click on the delete transaction, I've just got rid of it. No second guesses with it. I would now have to put the transaction in again. How do I do that? I'm in the petty cash. 
and in the petty cash, I'm going to receive the money. I'm going to receive it as it's defaulted to CR0002 in petty cash. I'm going to receive $50. Where am I going to get it from? From the main check account, which if I go back to the listing, is the first one up there, 11110. Use that account. In the memo there, I'll put it back in as opening petty cash and record, and it's now back in there. And if I go back to the bank register for the check account and use that account, I've now got it back in there as my opening petty cash. With a different number, it's not a problem. As a caution though, when it comes to deleting transactions, if the transaction has been already reconciled, sometimes it's not a good idea to delete them. If it's been reconciled, MYOB will come up with a warning that parts of this transaction may have been reconciled, in which case deleting is not an option. You may like to go in and reverse the transaction. Reversing transactions I will cover in a future video. That's basically a simple overview of receiving money and spending money. As we go through these videos, you'll see them happen a lot more. We'll now move on to the next video, which is about sales.